Hey guys, Bill Cook here. It's that time again. Let's get right to it. It's time for What's Cooking with Bill Cook. This month we're discussing Beyond Magic. And I don't know who I heard say it. I could have come up with it myself for all I know. It's probably Jeff though. The quote is, the more interesting you are as a person, the more interesting your magic will be. To me, that one sentence is the essence of this month's topic. Be more interesting. Go beyond magic. When you go past the veil of the card tricks and the billiard balls and the linking rings, beyond all that, past that veil, it's about the person. It's about the magician. It's about the performer. And if you can go past the magic, that's what I think this month is about. So here's two scenarios. You finish your show, get off the stage, someone comes up to you to meet you, the performer, and asks you a question, and you... deer in the headlights, freeze over, don't know how to answer anything, panic, bad. That's not a very good image to give. Now, other scenario. You finish performing, you step off the stage, you go to meet your fans, and you've met a couple people, and you notice that that person over there is wearing a very distinct necklace from a very kind of obscure anime cartoon, but you know it because you have a life outside of magic, and you comment on it, and you have a conversation with that person about that anime necklace and about the series, and how you like this, and how you don't like that, and how you're expecting this is going to happen in the coming seasons, and the next thing you know, you've carried on a four to five minute conversation with that person that made them feel so special because you could relate to that exact moment, and everyone else around you is going, wow, magician's got a life outside of magic. Which scenario would you rather be in? Personally? Having been in the second scenario, I'd rather be in scenario number two. By having a life and a passion outside of magic, it makes you more interesting. Now, one of my many hobbies that I, I have outside of magic that I don't really get to talk about much, but it definitely goes beyond magic, is being a funder on sites like Kickstarter. I'm always searching the technology parts of websites like Kickstarter, GoFundMe, Indiegogo, Rocket Hub, and others like that. I find technology that I think could be useful to my magic career, whether it's the next small microcomputer or uh, the blackest material ever created that unfortunately is completely bought out by the government and I won't be able to see for another 10 years, but I was trying to get on the Kickstarter for it. I find technology that I think would be useful to my career and I fund it to the point that if they make their mark, if they make the point of this is how much money we need in order to make it, that I usually get sent an early unit of that item. This keeps me up to date on new technology and keeps my magic ahead of the technological curve. So what things do you do that keep you on the cutting edge of magic? What do you do that keep you on that cusp? What can you do to push yourself beyond magic? Life exists outside of your comfort zone. Life exists beyond the card trick. How can you push further? Think about it. We'll wait here for you. And until next time, folks, this has been What's Cooking with Bill Cook. I will catch you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Curtain.